Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to part 24 of Fan Art Feb and today's video is a collab with Evie from Illustration with Evie and we both decided to do a line art for each other which we would then do the three marker challenge in colour so she wanted me to draw Rey from Star Wars The Force Awakens and I'm really happy with how this piece turned out I was like, I kind of, I want to do it myself, like colour it myself but I am really excited to see how Evie does it. So yeah, I just did the basic sketch in my sketchbook with pencil crayons and I ended up just sending the line art as a pencil line art because we emailed them to each other because I didn't think it would look right with really harsh dark lines. Unless Evie decides to go over it then that's up to her because I'm sure she'll make it work either way. But that was my plan and I kind of went off the movie poster a little like with the lightsaber going in front of her face, no, not a lightsaber, her staff going in front of her face. But then I lot added some flowers in as well, just, I don't know. I was just kind of going with the flow. I didn't actually expect it to turn out like this. I was like, I wasn't expecting to be as pleased with it, but yeah, I am. And it's kind of sparked off a urge to want to do a whole series of Star Wars pictures. But yeah. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, she asked me, no, yeah, she asked me to do this one, and I has asked her to do Wiley e. Coyote from the Looney Tunes, because I thought it would look really cool in her style, and she did not disappoint. So, yeah, it. I was hoping the colours would be a lot nicer to me. I did actually pick them twice because the first time it wasn't recording. So I had to pick again, and the first time when I picked colours, I liked those more because I actually got a um, a teal, a brown tone, and I can't remember the other one. I think it was a yellow, which could have worked really well for Wiley e. Coyote, but instead I ended up getting the a blue, grey, peach, and a pink. And the blue grey is really dark, the peach is more yellowy, and the pink, it says it's pale pink, but it's not a pale pink. It's like a bright pink. So I had to kind of merge the colours together a bit, which wasn't fun. It was kind of interesting, but not like amazingly fun to do. But I'm still quite happy with how it turned out. For his fur, I had to... Um, I had to mix the peach colour with the grey just to get a bit more of a brownish colour which it worked okay but not it wasn't quite what I was hoping for but it, it still did the job and just to try and get a difference in tones and stuff I was trying to mix the colours as best I could so like for the chair I mixed the pink with the grey just so it was different because I was going to do the chair like a black but then it's like I need to use all these markers so I kind of got like a bluish purpley grey which it worked it was a difference to the rest of it and for like the back of the chair and the wheels I just used my fine liners and coloured those in black because it's then it's not a marker technically so it's not cheating it's the same principle as using a white gel pen but Again, for the little rockets, just to get the contrast a little, I went over some of the pink with the yellow, so it was more of an orange. Well, it wasn't yellow, it was peach, but yeah. Just so it was more orangey and different. But, yeah, I think Wiley e. Coyote looks really cool in Evie's style. She did a really good job on this. I love the whole composition and the fact that he's washing on a computer chair. It looks so funny. And it's definitely something that they do. And the fact that she put the meep meep in as well for Roadrunner. Ah, this thumbs up from me. But yeah, we're coming up to the end of the video now. So I hope you like this. I hope Evie likes how this turned out. And I can't wait to see hers. So don't forget to go and check her video out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.